James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's August 6, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we're having a small impact in our electromagnetic field here. And you can see the spikes. They've been ongoing for almost eight hours. Now, will this actually cause the Schumann resonance to spike? I believe that it will, but I don't think that they're going to be off the chart. All right, here we go. They don't have the 16 in here, but you can see it should be right about here. And it looks like we've been active for just under eight hours. Some pretty heavy spiking, definitely above 50 hertz here in some instances. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see the geophones are not being hit very hard at all. But it is lighting up. I believe I can show you the cause, but maybe perhaps today not the agitator, which is very odd. Looking at our six-day comparison, we had a similar time period of eruption and spiking of our Schumann residence on the 4th. But that we knew to be lightning storms over the modeling center. Today, again, we've had a similar spiking, at least time period wise. The spikes are not as strong, although some appear to go off these charts that end at 50 hertz. Most stay within the 37 hertz range, uh, the highest that had ever been measured on the Schumann before 2017, when I believe our shields our electromagnetic shields started to collapse. At least the cavity did. All right, we're currently past 1600, almost 1700 UTC time. You can see when it lit up here, it's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're missing 16 and part of 17. So 2, 4, 6, 7, eight hours plus of our geophones getting hit here. Each line is an hour and they're cut up into 15 minute periods here. All right, here we see our event started. Looks like our second SR frequency started to dip right before nine UTC time. It's currently about 17 UTC time. You can see that the amplitudes of this event haven't been very strong at all but the event still is showing up and the Schumann resonance still is spiking over to windy.com to see if there might be a lightning storm anywhere near this area and there doesn't appear to be any weather whatsoever near the modeling station and the city it's in right here so i can't blame a lightning storm on this one and as most of us know, CERN will be off through September, still doing repairs from a quote-unquote leak. Currently, we're not under a geomagnetic storm or a radiation, i.e. proton storm, either. So neither of the three could be the agitator, although the spikes are not unusually strong. I can't actually nail the agitator. What I can show y'all is our magnetosphere is in the negative territory. Going over to our magnetometers, we can see how negative it is. Negative 100, and this works its way up to negative 70, negative 58, uh, which all means that our atmosphere is taking a beating and is not strong at the moment. This may have something to do, and usually does, with these Schumann resonance spikes. So it turns out our Schumann resonance is very active. We have not been able to isolate an agitator. We see that our shields are down. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, none of the spikes are really off the chart here. I'd love to know from you if this is affecting you, if you were able to sense these spikes since they're not as strong as usual and please let me know how they're affecting you is it 
uh, mentally or is it a physical effect or both? And what exactly are you uh, feeling with this? Is it positive or negative? That said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the Bizarro world.